these 75 uh, to uh, 300 millimeters cannon lenses um, the focus ring no problem but the zoom looks like get something gets stuck inside so I'm going to open it up to see if this lens is, uh, is a quick fix quick fix or something different let's see as usual still four screw here and the two side uh, little screw that lock the pin first just to resolve these uh, six of them it's nothing fancy here basically all the cannon lenses just like this um, so now this plastic ring is off then you can uh, detach this metal ring now it's the lens there are four uh, flexible cable here they are all using the gate locker so uh, so uh, the small gate just move them out one by one carefully there's a four little locker that uh, locks this uh, switch so basically if I push inside Then I take this switch off. So now this ring is off. So the main circuit board. So this is uh, the gear pack. There's a two screw here on a plastic platform that locks this gear pack. So we need to take them out. Okay, now this gear pack is off. It seems it's okay. So um, I guess this part is fine at this time. Just to put it aside. Now we have to deal even down here to see why the. So so far, this one is still locked. So we need to see what causing this one to. Uh, to stuck so the barrel uh, cannot be open from the back now at certain point we need to uh, uh, starting from here so if you put a small there's a small gap here so basically they're using a little bit glue so you have to uh, see the glue is here now this one is off So then, uh, oh, then this one is off. So now I have a feeling this lens was not designed very friendly for people just to open it up. Everything is so tightly, it's just like a, a packed lenses. So, um, I find out you have to use a lot of places you have to use force to uh, they don't have any screws on it in, in, instead they just using uh, force you see this one the outside layer you just have to use in your my using my fingers just to uh, pull it out this thin layer now this one is off this one you have to be use a lot of downforce otherwise it will very easily get stripped so that one is uh, I just unscrew you have to use as I said you have to use a little bit large screwdriver to take it off otherwise uh, it will be uh, get stripped and then this one uh, is just the brushes so we just take it out gently you see here there's a dent so then uh, for this one to slide it out now everything 
is coming out. Let's further to investigate what's happening here. As I can see, there's another inside layer, the brushes. This one is totally screwed. I need to fix it later. All right, so uh, now this barrel is coming out. I can hear something is inside. It must be a loose. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's here. That is missing. So I need to uh, get it out. So at this point, I know what's this lens problem, why the room gets stuck. It's because all of those cheap material. So as you can see, this one, this is the zoom. So when the zoom, this is the arm. So this is the one eventually the barrel will hook up to these uh, hooks and uh, he will try to use this one see, to, to zoom in using these arms to uh, to zoom in and zoom out. But right now because of the material, you see that everything is aluminum made of this one and uh, as you can see these two screws that used to hold this arm is getting loose and uh, not only getting loose if i tighten it so it's get stripped so i guess i have to uh, drill another hole here to fasten these arms onto the barrel I think this is the only way I can fix it. So, since this material is uh, it's a cheap material, I just using a very fine drill and uh, made a hole here. So my plan is to I try to make another hole here. So by screw. The two screw on the side to uh, to force this arm to be stay in place. Hopefully this will work. So as you can see, I'm using the high speed drill. I drilled two small tiny hole on the edge of these two uh, on the edge of this arm. I eventually find a, a two black screw here and uh, with a, a big flat head because uh, I need this big flat head to uh, ride on the edge of this uh, arm to, uh, to enforce it. So with these two little screw protect the edge, I think I test it right now, these two won't uh, hold very steadily. There's no problem. So now I'll uh, put everything back. The first one is to put this, uh, uh, the manual zoom. This one has to be twisted multiple times in order to, uh, to go to the end. That's uh, uh, the key. The brushes that uh, get screwed. So now I first install the status brushes back. Now it's time to put the, the zoom ring back. I think there's only one place you can put it in. You see? And after that everything nicely fit. So the brush is back. Now we need to pull back this hook. So eventually I pull this back. You have to use a little bit of tricky thing. You have to try this, try that before you install it back. So now you can see the the hook is perfectly aligned with uh, the zoom. So if we give it a try, see everything, everything is good now. So the front element. So you need to find. Uh, you see here they have uh, the teeth, the three of them. You need to find the teeth. 
then uh, install it back. So after that, you see everything get very nicely installed. Mm hmm. There's some squeezy sounds that I uh, for that uh, status uh, brush. So I decided to fix that uh, squeezy sound. See that uh, now the brushes, everything is good now. I can't hear anything. Everything is nice. So I put this uh, the ring back. Now I think it's the gear pack. The gear pack, you won't confuse because this switch has to be go to this uh, uh, only place. Then I think this wire has to be uh, from inside the house. So while I'm just readjusting, now I find out this is the tricky part. So here on the barrel, you will see there is a dent here. And on this ring, you will find out there are also two teeth here. So uh, I guess again, these two teeth just under 200. So then you have to install. As you can see, these two teeth places it just here so it has to be goes to here yeah you see after that everything is very nicely fit so now the zoom, everything is good, the gear pack is back, now it's time to install the, all the flex cable and uh, put the main circuit board in place before we put on this final the ring here because this ring will clamp the circuit board into the base. Then we just install, put this uh, button on the auto focus, and this one is auto focus. So hook up both sides, then uh, push it in. So then after that, give a test. So now the switch is on, so everything is good. So now we should put this one back. This one can be put uh, the final stage. So now I put back on the camera. Uh, the zoom, there's no problem anymore. See the zoom, it's okay. Power it on. It hunts. So. Uh, See, that's the pro that's yeah because this is a micro USM speed is not as fast as the USM so uh, I think this lens is back to working the fix is just because of the stucking uh, the zoom all right, so uh, I think that's uh, for today. And uh, if you like my fix, uh, leave comments and uh, um, also subscribe to my channel for other DIY fix for the Canon lenses. All right, thank you.